I am Satosh Gajankar. Today I am teaching you dynamics of machine. In the dynamics of machine, I am focusing Potter governor. The arm of a Potter governor 30 mm long. The upper arms are pivoted to the axis of rotation, and the lower arms are attached to the sleeve at a distance of 35 mm. Okay, this is the diagram they have given it as per the data. Distance they are given at 35 mm. That is in terms of meter, it will be 0 0.35 meter. The arm length will be 0 0.3 meter. 300 mm they are given it. The upper arms are pivoted. Uh, the distance from the axis of rotation. The mass of the sleeve is mass of the sleeve they are given it. Capital M is the argument. Solution data. Capital M the argument is 35 mm. 35 mm mass of the sleeve sorry 54 kg mass of the sleeve they are good the mass of the each ball will be small m will be 7 kg determine the equilibrium speed we have to find out the n here equilibrium n and radius of rotation of the ball is 225 mm small m g e of c the radius they are given it R, R is equal to 225 mm in terms of meter 0.0, 0 0.225 meter, 0.225 meter. This is the H, this is alpha and this is beta. Here alpha is not equal to beta ball. The speed, okay. Now, what is the range of the speed? For the position of the frictional resistance to the motion of the sleeve is equivalent to the force. Okay, the two cases they are given. When the without the frictional friction, what is the answer? And with the friction, what is the answer? We have to find out. Now, first, what is the formula? The formula will be n square is equal to mg plus mg plus or minus e of divided by 2, 1 plus k divided by m into 91.2 divided by h. Now the problem is beta is not equal to alpha. Therefore you have to find out the k value. What is k? k is equal to 10 beta by 10 alpha. We have to find out. Similarly we have to find out the h value. h value we have to find out. Now first I will find out 10 alpha tan alpha is nothing but what? Opposite by hypotenuse. This is opposite. This is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. Opposite by adjacent, sorry. Adjacent. It is not hypotenuse, adjacent. What is opposite? Opposite nothing but R divided by H. What is R? 0 0.225 meter divided by R. We don't know alpha. How to find out alpha? Sin alpha is nothing but what? Opposite by hypotenuse. What is opposite? R divided by 0 0.3 meter. What is R? 0 0.225 divided by 0 0.3. Alpha is equal to sin inverse 0 0.225 divided by 0 0.3. The answer for this one is 48.59. 48.59. Substitute here. Tan 48.59. 59 divided by 0 0.225 divided by h cross multiply the h will be the h will be 0 0.1984 meter once you get h you have to find out beta also now how to find out beta this is the beta this is the beta here i will consider a b C, D, E. Now, how to find out beta? Instead of going for 10, I just want to find out the beta. I will use sin alpha, sin beta. What is sin beta? Opposite by hypotenuse. This is opposite. This is hypotenuse. This is adjacent. What is opposite? Opposite nothing but R minus DC. What is R value? 0 0.225 minus dc is nothing but this value 0 
divided by hypotenuse is 0.3 this is value is 0.3 meter 0.3 and you can find out beta is equal to tan inverse sorry sine inverse 0.225 minus 0.035 divided by 0.3 the answer for this one beta will be 39.29 now substitute here in the in place in place of tan beta in place of beta k is equal to tan 39.29 divided by tan 48.59 the answer for k will be 0.7215. Now find out the n square value. What is m? m is equal to 7 into 9.81 plus mg. mg is nothing but 54. But here they have said it. Neglect this term. Neglect. Next we have to consider this term. The two cases we have done. but here we have to find out the average speed only the average speed that is the average average or determined equilibrium speed we have to find out now 54 into 9.81 divided by 2 into 1 plus 0.7215 divided by 7 into 91.2 divided by h value will be 0 0.1984 84 if you go for square root, the n answer will be 185.7 rpm. 7 rpm. I am solving for the next part. That is with friction, what happens? With friction. Now, with friction, what happens? We are going to study. When, when friction is equal to 30 newtons. Then what happens? We have to find out the range here. Formula. Same. I will consider the finding the range. First I will consider n2. n2 square is equal to mg plus mg plus or minus cf. Or you can write it as uh, let me I will consider this one as a for positive, I will consider n2 only. No problem. Okay. For negative, I will consider minus sign. Page mg plus f divided by 2 into 1 plus k divided by m into 91.2. 91.2 divided by h. Now n2 square is equal to uh, 7 into 9.81 plus mg will be 54 into 9.81 plus 30 divided by 2 1 plus 0 0.7215 divided by 7 into 91.2 divided by h h is nothing but what h value this is the h value 0 0.1984 if you go for root n2 will be what N2 will be 190.12 RPM or directly in the calculator instead of plus sign just minus it will get N1 directly. Now for N1, N1 square the formula will be mg plus mg minus f divided by 2. It indicates what the sleeve moves upward direction. It indicates what the sleeve moves downward direction. 1 plus k divided by m 91.2 divided by h m is m is nothing but 7 into 9.81 plus 54 into 9.81 minus 30 divided by 2 1 plus 0 0.7215 15 divided by 7 divided by 7 into 91.2 divided by h is nothing but 0 0.1984 and go for root then n1 will becomes 180.98 rpm the range is nothing but what the range is n2 minus n1 
the M2 is nothing but 190.12 minus 180.98. The answer will be 9.13 RPM. I am Santosh Gaidankar. Thank you very much.